Hey everyone, Travis here. Neo, Axpone, and many other growth stock had a nice rebound on Monday and today. Neo's stock price popped us more than 17%, and Axpone stock has also has a, almost a 10% surge during the trading hour on Monday. Also, Neo announced it has completed repurchase thread offer for its convertible senior note due 2024. If you're a NEO or Xpone or general Chinese stockholder, you might be interested in the content in this video. So in this video, I'm going to provide a few parts of information. The first thing is, what is the senior convertible note and how it works? The second thing is, what are the factors that are impacting these Chinese stocks and growth stocks the most? that even more than the individual stock's fundamentals. The third thing is why I'm not going to sell NEO or Xpone stock at this moment and under what circumstances will I sell. Again, if you're NEO, Xpone shareholders or Chinese stockholders, you're welcome to like this video and consider subscribing to this channel. Okay, the first thing about convertible note. A senior convertible note is a debt security that contains an option in which the note can be converted into a predefined amount of the issuer's share. And when a company issuing these convertible notes, it either offering a valuation cap or discount or both. And the conversion decided by whichever favors the investors. Let me give an example to explain this. So the first one, we imagine that a company raised its seed round by issuing a convertible note with a 4 million valuation cap and no discount. Then in series A round, the company gets a 12 million pre-money valuation and a price per share at $10. So in order to calculate the valuation cap adjusted pr price per share for those convertible note holders, you would divide the valuation cap on the note by the pre-money valuation of the subsequent round and apply that to the serial A price per share. Meaning in our example, that works out to be 3.33 per share serial A shares for convertible note holders. So hypothetically, if the convertible note investors invested in $10,000, by that 3.33 per share price would grant them, the seed investor, approximately 3,000 shares. But at the same time, if an investor investing the same $10,000 directly in the serial A round at $10 per share, that would only be issued 1,000 shares. Okay, now let's see another example. Let's suppose the same company raised its seed round by issuing a convertible note that had no valuation cap, but did have a 20% discount to Series A round. So in the exercise, the pre-money valuation at which the Series A round was raised is not important, only the price per share. Again, let's assume that it's $10 per share and apply the 20% discount to that price per share would yield a discounted price per share for the convertible note holder at $8 per share. So if an investor were to have invested $10,000 in a convertible note, they would therefore receive 1,250 Series A shares. Again, note that the same 10,000 investment uh, invested by a Serial A investor would only purchase 1,000 Series A shares. Often the convertible notes have offered both a valuation cap and a discount and will convert using whichever method gives the investor a lower price per share. So back to the news, NEO announced it completes a repurchase right offer for its convertible senior notes due 2024. And NEO said none of the note holders have exercised their repurchase right and none of the notes have been surrendered for repurchase. So that basically means when NEO issued these senior convertible notes a few years ago, the, the terms or the price uh, comparatively were really good compared to the share price today as uh, these notes holders, they don't wanna like surrender their notes at, at the price the NEO is offering now for the repurchase. And they rather think when their notes mature at 2024, they will get more benefits. Either they think the stock price will be much higher by then, or the discount or market cap, whatever the term, uh, when they wrote these notes, benefits them more when the notes mature. So somehow the market interprets as positive signals and good news. And along with the broader growth stock rebound, has popped up more than 17% on Monday, and it is likely to keep the trending today on Tuesday. 
So in the recent month, we have a broader market sell-off for growth stocks and NIO is clearly oversold, partially because of the broader market sell-off and also partially because the US-China relationship tension, the uncertainty from the Chinese regulators. But at this price, I think NIO and Xpeng, their stocks are oversold. Let's have a quick recap on the delivery accounts in January for Xpeng and NIO and Li Auto. Xpeng actually Xpeng delivered 12,922 vehicles in January, uh, down from 16,000 in December. And Li Auto delivered 12,269 vehicles in January. NIO delivered 9,652 vehicles in January. Even though they are slightly down from December's peak delivery numbers, it is pretty common December is the best selling month for many of the car makers. If you compare that year over year, it is still very promising and very good numbers. So what we need to do is we would have to follow up closely on the US-China trading relationship. Uh, we need to see if there's any signal of easing the tension between them because US at the, at the same time, they also want to like tackle the inflation. And in my opinion, they have the need to work with China to stable the supply chain issue and, and to tame the inflation domestically. And China is still the world's factory and the number one exporting country. And I think at the same time, China's policymakers also don't want to like impact the China's economy too much by imposing more dramatic regulations or measures. I think economy stability is equally, if not more important in China. The third thing is why I am not selling NIO or X1 or other micro stock holdings. Actually, it's a hard decision. One of my favorite YouTubers uh, said he has sold his entire portfolio. And many of the financial analysts are not super optimistic about the stock market in the US this year. But uh, if you were to clear your entire portfolio at a time like last Friday and see the rally yesterday and today, you would be double re regret and double painful about the actions uh, we, we took. It's really impossible to time the market. and. Uh, whenever you sold your positions or portfolio, entire portfolio, it is really tricky and really hard for you to figure out the correct, the right time to re-entry into the stock market. Going forward, the only moment I'm gonna sell my positions is that there is clear hype and momentum in the stock market that like what we experienced in November last year. And only at those times, I'll sell a chunk of my positions and holdings to get the cash at hand and use the dollar cross averaging to gradually build my wealth. All right, that's all the contents I wanna cover in this video. If you like content like this, and if you're a Chinese stockholder or Neo stock, uh, X1 stockholder, consider to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.